Now I'm using a good quality goat cheese and a small scoop like this to form even balls. Goat cheese is made from goat's milk. It has a tart flavor that can range in texture from moist to semi-firm. And we're using a rather moist, fresh goat cheese rather than aged goat cheese, which is a little bit harder. It's available in a variety of shapes, including cylinders, discs, cones, uh, flat rounds, and sometimes it's coated in a black ash, which is edible. But uh, try to get the uncoated log for this and you don't want it wrapped in any leaves, grape leaves or herb leaves. You just want it just plain like this. And these have to set, once they're rolled like this, you have to set them in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. We have some already chilled and quite firm. Now we have chopped pecans. We have some really fragrant curry powder. This is a mild curry powder and we have a very beautiful Hungarian paprika here. You have to sprinkle a little bit of paprika in a straight line on a piece of parchment paper. Now that looks like a lot of paprika. What we wanna do is sort of even it out. This is such a fragrant spice. And then take your cheese ball and just roll it carefully. like that. And you can just place it right on your final serving platter. And in the nuts, you can just lightly roll a ball. You can even kind of crunch it in your hand like this, just to give it a little bit of a nut coating. And if you're using thyme leaves, just toss it in the thyme leaves and also roll it in the palms of your hands. Chives are beautiful. Beautifully cut like this and just roll the ball in it. They can be very green or whitish green. And the curry, this is a pretty one. The curry is put in a sieve and lightly sieved over one side of the ball. So all these techniques are different. They're unusual. Black peppercorns that are really just very coarsely ground. That looks good. And parsley, of course, or chervil or coriander. Another nice flavor. When you're finished with all the balls, drizzle a little bit of very good virgin olive oil around them. Not too much and a sprinkling of red hot pepper flakes. Serve these along with your favorite toothpick. And guests can proceed from this platter to the bar. And now it's time to set up that bar and learn how to mix the most delicious drinks you've ever tasted.